everybody welcome to our channel electrical technology and industrial practice so as you can see today we will discuss about restricted earth fault protection now before starting the video i would like to say that in this video we shall only focus on the principle how restricted earth fault protection works and nothing else we shall not discuss anything about its relay setting ct calculation or anything we will just focus on the fact that how the relay works what is the principle of the protection so let's start the video now remember one thing that restricted earth fault protection only works only applicable in generally mostly applicable in the star connected system like star connected secondary of any transformer or star connected generator that is why i have drawn only the star connected side if this is a transformer there will be a primary side which may be star which may be delta or if this is the generator then the system will look like this and this is the power flow direction okay the power is flowing from left hand side to right hand side now see to execute a successful restricted earth fault protection you need four number of cities these cities are called line city okay these cities are called line city line city and this city is called neutral city or n city now what are the function of this city as the name suggest it is restricted earth fault that is it restrict the detection of fault within a specific range a specific zone this is basically zone specific indicator that means this system will work only if the earth fault has occurred into some specific zone and not for the zone outside of the selection okay so this protection is widely used to determine the earth fault inside of a machine inside of a transformer or inside of a generator say if this is your transformer or generator and these are your terminal okay so if you connect these three cities as i shown and neutral city here then this will only detect earth fault inside the generator or transformer let's see how it will happen okay this cities this line cities are residually connected and the n city neutral city is connected parallelly with the line city and where these two cities are connected together there the 64r or the restricted earth fault relay is connected with a series stabilizing resistor this stabilizing resistor actually prevents the relay to trip under any fault outside of the protective zone that we will discuss later you don't have to focus on the function of the stabilizing resistor but remember that if this type of resistor is used in this relay then the protection is called high impedance restricted earth fault protection the protection drawing i am showing here is high impedance high impedance or high z ref also remember this restricted earth fault protection is a differential earth fault protection differential earth fault protection so it will work on the principle of the current difference between two cities let us see how the protection will work suppose you have a fault occurred at this terminal here you have an earth fault then what will be the flow of earth fault current just see the earth fault current will start from here it will go to this point through this and it will come from this point to the earth and will return to the source by the 
न्यूट्रल राइट सो सी हियर दिस सिटी एंड दिस सिटी बोथ दिस सिटी विल सी द अर्थ फॉल्ट now focus on the polarity of the city connection see how i have connected the city polarities here there is one city polarity and here is the another polarity so for this city the current is entering the city primary through the polarity point and say we are saying we can say that the current in the secondary will be in this direction if we assume then in this case the neutral current is flowing through this point so here in the secondary the current will be in this direction <clears throat> so you can see that the current here is coming in the secondary this current is basically circulating through this path okay since magnitude of these two current is same because the same current is coming here and returning to the neutral so their secondary reflection will be same and due to our city polarity connection no current will flow through this relay coil so outside of this zone if there is any earth fault it may be two phase to earth fault then also the relation will be valid okay so for Uh, earth fault outside of this zone this relay will not operate now let us see what will happen if the earth fault occurs inside of the zone suppose our earth fault has occurred in this phase okay this is inside of the protective zone this was outside of the protective zone but this is inside of the protective zone then how the earth fault current will flow the earth fault current will flow like this It will return back to the neutral, right? In this case, none of this city will see the earth fault current because these cities are not sensing any fault. The fault has occurred before this city, but the neutral city will see the earth fault. The current is flowing through the neutral city, so the neutral current will be driven through this path. and since there is no current coming from this cities to oppose this this current will flow through the relay coil and eventually the relay will be energized okay so for any earth fault occurring inside the protective zone will cause the relay to operate so this is the basic principle of restricted earth fault relay city the thing is very simple any earth fault outside this zone will not be sensed any earth fault inside of this zone will be sensed okay so this is the main philosophy behind the restricted earth fault protection this stabilizing resistor is kept to prevent the relay to operate if there is any fault outside of the protective zone suppose let me explain suppose there is a phase fault or any through fault has occurred outside of the protective zone then a huge current will flow through this city okay now there will be a stabilizing voltage a saturation voltage across this cities there is formula to calculate the stabilizing voltage i am not entering in these details we will discuss those details in a next video in our upcoming videos so there will be a voltage across this cities if there is a high current passing through the primary of the cities now this voltage may be adequate enough to drive a current through the relay coil and cause the relay to mal operate suppose suppose you extend this line okay this is delivering power to somewhere and here there is a line to line fault huge amount of current is flowing now this current caused the city to saturate and a voltage vs accumulated across this cities this voltage can drive a current through the relay coil which may cause mal operation of the relay so suppose the voltage accumulated across this city is 
Vs. You can calculate this Vs. It has its own formula. Okay, we will discuss it in up our upcoming videos. Suppose the voltage is Vs. And say your relay has been set to pick up for a current of I ampere. Okay. Then value of this stabilizing resistor will be higher than Vs by I ampere. I ohm. Okay. This will be the value of stabilizing resistor. So if you connect a resistor of RS here and apply the voltage Vs, then current will be Is. If RS is higher than this calculated value, then the current will be lower than the set current of the relay. So for any fault outside of the relay, outside of the protective zone, the relay will not pick up. Okay. So this is how the stabilizing resistor is sized. It is it has direct relation with the setting of the relay okay now there are also several calculations for a successful implementation of the uh, restricted at fault protection you can check our blog website for the details and I will further describe and uh, show you all the calculations in our upcoming videos so stay tuned to our channel hope you have enjoyed this video Please like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Also please hit the bell icon to get the latest notifications.